and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you for joining me today. I have a super awesome video today. I got the Kimchi Chic I'm Feeling Sweet and You Make Me Happy eyeshadow palettes. I have both of them. My nine pan palettes haven't arrived. So these came out a few days after those. I don't know what's going on with shipping, but that's okay. I will bring you that video when they do arrive. Today we're going to focus on I Am Feeling Sweet, and I'll give you a sneak peek of this palette, neutral, warm, neutral. And then here's the You Make Me Feel Happy, or You Make Me Happy. And we'll do a look with this tomorrow. Isn't that beautiful? There are some... There are some shades that are almost identical in these, so we will swatch those out together tomorrow. Today, though, we're going to go into this beautiful thing. Um, let's swatch it first, and then we will uh, we'll do an eye look with it. Uh, I'm going to do the same on both eyes because I have to go to work in just a few minutes. So um, I'm going to look halfway normal for the the team's call. Okay, so here we go. Um, there are uh, five, ten, fifteen shadows. <laughs> math. There are 15 shadows. Um, I'm going to just swatch straight across so that you can get an idea of what these look like. Um, there are, mm, mm, yeah, there are mattes and there are some shimmers. Uh, there are some that are incredibly metallic. Um, there are a few that are very similar to each other. And again, there are some that are very similar to the other palette. This is just a, it is a brown, brown palette. It's brown golds. There are some bronzes. There are some just, I mean, just beautiful metallics. tomorrow when we look at it or look at them both. That one didn't swatch real well, did it? Where did the swatch go? There it is. That's that mustard down there in the bottom. I mean, I mean they're, it's, it's kimchi chic quality. They are beautiful. I have all of her palettes so far. Um, the, the large palettes, I've got rainbow shards. I've got the Naomi Smalls and Kimchi Chic, Two Queens in One Desert, Mad Maxine, Suit Yourself palette. That's a name of a palette and a half. Um, and this is, I mean, there are neutrals in Rainbow Sharks. There are neutrals in the Naomi Smalls palette. And this is, this is just a collection of all of the neutrals that are in, um, in those two palettes. Really warm, but very beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Kim's eyeshadows are, they, they blend beautifully and easily. And they are pigmented. And they are buttery. And the metallics are incredible. I usually uh, apply the metallics with my finger. I don't uh, use any medium, any, any water or any setting spray to apply those. I just simply swipe them on with my finger and it works really well. So let's do a look um, today. Really simple. I have some eyeshadow primer on my eyes. It's the Amuse Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow primer in Clean Slate from Shop Mise. It is in my project pan so I am using it every single day. Obviously I've done the rest of my face uh, look a little wonky without eyeshadow but hopefully this will come together. And let's get started. I'm going to use the, the lightest shade butter and let's just use the mirror and it's got a beautiful mirror I mean it's just stunning uh, it is a high quality mirror you know some of them make you look a little bit fun house this one does not very very powdery in the pan so you'll need to tap off if you don't want any fallout and since I've already done my face makeup I don't want any fallout today, if at all possible. This is gonna be a really, 
a really straightforward eye look, but it will it will turn out pretty warm because everything in this palette is warm. Uh, there may be a little bit of, I mean, there's a little bit of cool, but not much, y'all. Everything is either warm or neutral um, in this palette, which is okay. I mean, that there's nothing wrong with a with a warm moment. I don't. If if given my choice, I will I will take cool almost every time, uh, because I am drawn to cool tones. Um, they are they are my jam. But I can I can do warm. Oh, let's see. Do we want to go a little mustardy? Let's do a little bit of mustard, like right above this one. The mustard in this one is called butterscotch. I'm telling y'all, it's just a little bit. It's, it's gotten to be a little bit silly. Um, do you remember how we used to get neutral palettes and there would be a blue shadow in there, you know? And um, think like Urban Decay Gwen Stefani, like totally neutral browns and then a blue. Well, now it appears to be browns and then a mustard, which I'm not mad at. I love a mustard shadow, but it, it seems to be that's now the trend of our pops of color now are now mustard, but that's okay. That's very pretty. I did a very light wash of butterscotch. And then let's do, let's do that kind of neutral darker brown. It's called Buddy. We're gonna do that right in the outer corner, a little bit diagonal, and then we'll blend. Not doing too crazy of an eye look today. Again, I gotta go to work. So tomorrow we'll go a little crazy. I still have to go to work tomorrow, but I will dress in something appropriate so that it looks like I should have crazy colorful makeup on. Um, we'll do something crazy with the uh, You Make Me Happy palette. These, these are in plastic packaging, uh, not magnetic. Pretty heavy though. Like they don't feel uh, super inexpensive, which is nice. I got these in a bundle here, $25 a piece, but they bundled for 45. I didn't have a coupon code, I couldn't find one that would work for these, but I got them on launch day. So that's typical with makeup companies that if you are buying it you know, on the first day or or very very shortly after they launch that it they are exempt from any coupon codes that are out there so I'm really super drawn to the cool tone s'mores or s'more shadow um, but I don't know that it would actually go with the rest of my look so I will definitely use that on a different day do we want to use a gold today I mean this is the outfit that I'm wearing or do we want that bronze? Let's switch. Let's swatch a couple real quick and see which one we want to use. They look so similar, don't they? Because they are. Okay, let's use. I don't know which one I picked up on my middle finger. <laughs> see that metallic is gorgeous. I'm assuming I picked up ginger. Yeah, ginger is the second shade in the palette, and it is a it's a bronze to me. Um, just pretty, so pretty. All right, I need to get a little bit more in my inner corner with that. So I'm gonna pick up a real flat little shader brush here. I have a small hooded eye. So at times I need a little bit of help to get, you know, right in there with my lid shade. I'm gonna do a little bit of mochi. Mochi is this like, it looks white, but it is, it is a, it looks like it is a gold, like a super gold shift. I'm gonna try it on a brush and do the inner corner. Yep, that comes out, that comes out. It's, it's it looks so creamy in the pan that I wasn't sure if it would pick up on a fluffier brush, but it is. that up just a little bit I like I like glitter or shimmer above 
uh, the inner corner, I mean above the the inner fourth third of my lid. Uh, I like how that looks because I like to see the shimmer with my eyes open and with my hooded eyes. It makes it a bit difficult, so I have to bring it up a bit higher. I think that's really, really pretty. Let's do a little bit of like eyeshadow as liner, and we'll use the darkest shade down here, uh, Brownie Bite. It is, it is a matte with glitter in it, and I have a feeling that the glitter will not, will not translate at all on the eye. So it is essentially a, a matte kind of dark chocolate brown. But there are gold glitters in it. I don't know why companies do this if the glitter is not going to apply and stay. I don't know what the what the thought is behind shadows like this. Because the glitter doesn't seem to ever stay in any in anyone's palette. It is it's not just this palette. This shade these shades always seem to come off as matte. Now potentially if I was applying this over a super tacky base or you know a glitter glue of sorts which you know why would you do that for a for a matte but that's that's what we got. Yeah that works that works really well. I got a little bit of fallout from the liner shade which is typical because I kind of pack I pack a little a little tiny angled brush, you know, super thin. I pack it on both sides and so I can get some fallout occasionally from that. All right, I've got a little bit of kind of shimmer that crept its way a little bit out, but I think that's okay. All right, what do we think? I think that looks pretty. It is, it is warm. It is very orangey because that is, that's the tones of these shades i mean it's not it's not full on orange but it is a very warm brown but it looks beautiful it it, it applies there's a little bit of powder kick up in the mattes uh the cream shimmer shades i mean the the metallic shades nothing there's there's absolutely no uh kick up in the pan on those so let's uh let i will do my lashes and i will come back and let you see the final look all right, we're back. There's lashes. This one is looking like Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. Like, pull the lever cronk. I don't know why this lash is looking so wonky. We're going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it and we'll wink with it all day so that folks are like, is there something wrong with your lash? But by the time she's asked that question, I've already winked a couple of times and then she's, she's all right. What is going on? Okay. This is the look. I like it. I like this palette. I like kimchi formula. I, I like everything about it. It is warm. It is beautiful. You Have you seen these shades before? Yes. Do you have these in your collection? Yeah, you do. You absolutely do. But it's beautiful. This is the I'm Feeling Sweet. It's got the little donut balloon on it. Love it to death. If you want to see the You Make Me Happy palette, which is the more colorful palette of the two, and some comparisons on some of the shades that look eerily similar from palette to palette. Subscribe to my channel. I'll get that video up tomorrow. We'll do a look with the colorful palette um, and we'll swatch everything out from here and then do some comparisons between the two. Hit that subscribe button. It's free and that way my videos show up in your subscription feed and you can check them out. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it. I appreciate you watching it. I am a new channel so any interaction that you give me super duper helps so I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day.